I don't remember how most of my days went after that first day. It's as if it was all a blur with fragmented memory. I know that the girls and I have gotten closer, and we share many moments in and out of school. I've been able to catch up with everything and incorporate most of my hobbies into my after-school schedule. Everything seems to be going well, if I'm honest with myself. Today I found myself dissociating in my favorite class, fifth period chemistry. The teacher talked about equations and how important it is to remember the formulas for the test. However, I was focused on when the bell would ring for the cafeteria to be open. I believe that on Wednesdays, they would sell either Dino nuggets or pizza, and I couldn't wait. Lucky for me, the bell rang, and I grabbed my stuff and waited for the teacher to dismiss us. All right, I'll upload the worksheet on the class website. You all have until Friday to hand in any worksheets given this week, she says, and I look at my phone as I walk out with my trapper keeper, on the other hand. I began to scroll through the website and checked if there were any other papers I had due. Even if I was new, it was still Wednesday, and I didn't want points taken out of my grade. I kept scrolling and walking without paying attention to where I was going or who was in front of me. In reality, this was a bad idea since I bumped into someone, which made me drop my binder and stumble back. Sorry, I wasn't looking. I muttered, knowing that this is where I'm meant to fight them. This scenario isn't how it happens in movies, since, in real life, nothing good comes from bumping into anyone at school. I began to pick up my papers without paying attention to who I bumped into. However, when I looked up, I saw this cute guy who was just as confused as I was. He had light brown hair and blue eyes, your stereotypical American boy next door. Oh, you don't have to apologize. I stopped all of a sudden, so it wasn't your fault completely. He says, as he begins rambling, which is kind of cute. It took us a few seconds to realize that some of our papers were scattered around the area. I grabbed his papers and handed them to him as his eyes widened. You're okay, right? He asks, as he offers me a hand to get up. I nodded in response and held his hand as I stood up. It feels weird touching our hands. No, it feels warm and safe. I place my phone in my back pocket and let go of his hand as I grabbed my trapper keeper from the floor. I thought I was going to have to fight you, but yeah, I'm alright. You're not missing any papers there, right? I asked, and he nervously looked through his papers. I couldn't tell if he was embarrassed or blushing by the color of his cheeks. Um yeah everything seems to be here. He says shilly, as he scratches the back of his head and places the papers in his trapper keeper. I should get going. I wouldn't want to make my friends worry. I say, and he looks at me confused. You're new, aren't you? He asks, and I look at him, confused. What gave you that idea? I asked, trying to play it off. Either I've been living under a rock or you still don't know where the cafeteria is. He says, and I look at both ends of the crowded hallway. It's that way, right? I say, confused, and he gave a light chuckle. Follow me. I'm pretty sure I know the school better than you. He teased and passed me. I was right, but followed him to see if I could make another friend. We walked beside each other and passed a couple of classrooms. Little did I know that the walk to the cafeteria was quiet unless I started the conversation. I mentally sighed and began to think of something to talk about. Do you know everyone at this school? I asked, trying to break the ice. Everyone's face is familiar if that's what you're asking. However, I really think you're new. If you aren't, I apologize in advance. Actually, I arrived a few weeks ago. Looks like you do know most of the students here. Are you a senior or something? Not yet. I'm just a sophomore who's in the soccer team and a band member. He says, trying not to brag about his status. This school has a band? More like bands. We have battle of the bands every summer. Do you play any instruments? He asks, as we keep walking. Yeah, but none are band worthy. I said, and he giggled, which made me smile. Honestly, he seems so calm. I wonder if he's like this with everyone he meets. It's weird knowing you're a sophomore. I haven't seen you in any of my classes. I point out, and he raises an eyebrow. What are you talking about? I thought you were a junior completing credits. He says, confused, and I shake my head. No. I'm just a sophomore who has chemistry. I say in finger gun, which made me cringe inside. I grabbed my school program and handed it to him. Let's see. 
We have PE together on Tuesdays and Thursdays. C. Your fourth period is to half credits. I'm assuming your health class was half, and the same goes for your PE class. It's an odd schedule, but they're just trying to have you complete the credits you're missing to graduate when you become a senior. He points out, and I nod as he explains. Awesome. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I say, and he nervously nods. By the way, I never caught your name. He says, acting as if I said my name. I never tossed it. I say, trying to create a pun as I put my schedule in my binder. He just rolled his eyes playfully. My name is Haley. Siblick. Is there any classroom you've liked so far? He asks, and I look at him confused. I haven't had the opportunity to see them all, but the history classroom on the first floor has a window to the outside view, which I think is nice. I say confused, and he laughed a little. Well, if you ever get the chance, our school has a garden on the school's roof. Don't worry, it's completely safe to go up there and the edges are surrounded by a glass. He says, trying to explain how the classroom looks. It only took a few steps to make it to the cafeteria. One look, and you could see that it was crowded by other teens. I eventually got separated by Siblick due to the long line and crowd. Nevertheless, I grabbed and paid for my food before looking for Stella and Haru. Haley, Stella says as she wraps her arm around mine and dragged me towards a table where her was. Well, it's nice to finally see you too. I say with a smile as I place my tray on the table and sit on the chair. Stella began to chatter about how annoyed she was with one of her classmates. On the other hand, I felt her voice drift away as I looked to the side and saw him walk by. Everything seemed to go slower than usual. Siblick was just walking with a friend of his, and we made eye contact. I don't know why I couldn't hear the girls. I was just mesmerized by the way we were looking at each other. I gave him a smile, and he smiled back. The next thing I knew, my hair was soaking wet because someone poured it. The icy cold feeling brought me back to reality. What was that for? I say, a little annoyed, as I turned to face my friends. We have landed in our final destination, the cafeteria. I'm deeply sorry your trip got caught short on ignoring your friends to admire a traitor. Stella says in a sarcastic tone, as Haru passed me some napkins to dry off. It was Ella's idea. I have nothing to do with this. Haru says, and Stella rolls her eyes as she sighs. I began to pass the napkins through my hair, shirt and pants, but I'm sure that with time I'll be dry. In my defense you were being rude. Stella says, defending herself. Oh really? Could you elaborate on how it was fair to pour water on me? Haley, you ignored us when we called you over ten times. You might have been a little distracted by looking at someone. Her says, trying to bring peace between me and Stella. Yeah, I met someone a few minutes ago. I thought they could join us, but clearly he has his own friends. I explained as I looked for Siblick, but once again he was lost in the crowd. Don't tell me you have a crush on this guy already. Stella says annoyed. A crush? Dude, I just met the guy. If I liked him just because I bumped into him, that would be a little weird of me. Fine. You find him mildly interesting. Who's the lucky guy to actually catch the new girl's attention? Haru asks curiously. He said his name was Siblick, but I'm not sure how much of that is true, or if he's even a sophomore. Oh, he's a sophomore all right. Stella says, annoyed, and I raised an eyebrow at her. You see Haley, before you came Siblick used to be a good friend of ours. However, things happened, and we got into a disagreement. Haru explains and the first thing that came to mind was that Stella and Siblick dated. You dated Siblick? I whispered, and Stella's eyes widened. Gosh no, Siblick's been single for a while. I wanted to date someone else, but something happened and now we aren't talking with Siblick or his friend. Stella explains vaguely making it more confusing. Can someone actually explain what happened? I get that I'm new but if this event is ruining friendships shouldn't you try to resolve it and continue being friends? I say confused. It's not that easy. I agree this situation has gone long enough and we should all talk about it but I'm not sure if everyone's willing to be on the same page. Haru explains, 
Let me clarify Siblik and Erica dated during middle school and freshman year. It wasn't until the end that we noticed that she was cheating on him with a guy who's a junior now. One thing led to another, and it turned out Erica was only doing that because she had some disease that wouldn't let her live for a few more weeks. So, she decided to break Siblik's heart and make him feel like he didn't need her anymore. Tanner got really mad when he found out that Erica cheated and made us all swear an oath to never date and protect Siblik from anyone. I was so mad that he just gave up on having a partner. I ended up getting into an argument with him, and now it's just Haru and I. It's been like this for a few months now, and I don't expect him to understand how I feel. Stella explains. How did Siblik react to all of this? He doesn't really know. Well, he knows that Tana and Stella are in a fight. But he doesn't know why. Every time Tana notices that Siblik is getting comfortable with a girl that isn't Stella, or oh, then he just confronts the girl. In all honesty it gets embarrassing, and I wish he would stop that. Haru explains, Why don't you date him then? I asked her, and she raised an eyebrow. I already like someone else. It wouldn't be fair to Siblik to receive fake interest. Siblik is still our friend even if he is an indirect traitor, but I'm not sure about Tanner. If we end up talking, I'm not sure how he'll handle everything. He can be hard-headed and I just want things to go back to how they used to be. Stella says as she finishes eating her food. I'm assuming Erica is dead, right? I asked, and they both nod, not adding more to the conversation. We ended our lunch and parted ways. I walked to the trash can to throw away the empty wrappers and plastic plate. I exited the cafeteria and head to my next class. I'll admit I still had 20 minutes to kill but I just wanted to be alone for a bit. The thoughts on the situation drowned the noise from the hallway as I kept walking to the next class. Hey. A voice says, making me realize where I was. To be honest, I wasn't expecting them right now. Do you want to come to that room I was talking about? Siblik asks, and I felt my heart drop. Love at first sight? I'll never believe in that again. Sure, let's go.